Okay, so we can also factor um, this one here. So what we're going to do is uh, the largest number that goes into both 8 and into 6 is looking like it's going to be a 2. And we can also pull an A out because we have an A in each one of these terms. And I'm going to rewrite. So 2 goes into 8 four times. And of course, A goes into A one time, but we don't write it. Plus, 2 goes into 6 three times. And we pulled out one of those A's. And of course, we don't want to forget this part here. Okay. Now, to kind of write this properly, we would take this 2A and bring it out front. And it doesn't matter uh, which one of these we write. So I'll write that first one. And then 4 plus 3a. So that has now been completely factored. Now to check your work, you could go ahead and multiply this 2a, distribute it across to just this one, and then multiply. And we went over a multiplication of polynomials in an earlier section. So if you wanted to check this, and then we should end up pretty much with what we uh, started with. We might have to rearrange uh, the terms to get it to look just like our original, but that would be this one here. All right, well, that concludes uh, the factoring of polynomials. And if you've gotten this down, uh, it's time to move on to factoring binomials. On my website, um, which is on my, the link is on my YouTube channel, uh, I, sh I have lots of exercises on uh, doing these. So, okay, have a good one.